Hello everyone, back to tuning in to today's second video, doing a Germany Friday for today's second video. So as well as on a Friday, we're having a look at the weather for the next uh, month, the next 30 days uh, across the uh, UK. So this isn't quite get to the end of September, but it is pretty much a September look at, uh, really. So, <coughs> excuse me, we will have a look and see what Jemmy and CFSB two models are showing uh, for the next four weeks, taking us to the last stages of September uh, very shortly. Just say that the first video released today uh, was the European outlook. So, yes, uh, having a detailed look at the weather weekend across Europe. Um, and also got 10 to 14 day video update coming up for you later on this afternoon. The final ENSO update of the year is going to be released tonight around uh, 7 o'clock. So, very busy day at Gaz Obis today. If I've got time, I will do a little live stream after 10 pm. It just depends whether I've got time on a Friday night uh, to be able to do that. So, so just watch the community page and Gaz Obis social media accounts uh, this evening and, uh, and then. Uh, um, uh, but you'll be notified what's happening. Uh, right, so let's get on with Jeremy Friday then. So we're going to start off with the 500 millibar height anomalies from the Arctic and North Pole view down. So here we go. This is where we've got the uh, North Pole just here. And they've got the wider Arctic Circle around there. And of course, we've got middle latitudes around here. So, uh, yellow, orange, and red extrapolating to below average heights. No, yellow, orange, and red extrapolating to... I've only been doing this for like eight years, so you can't expect me to know what I'm talking about, can you? Yellow, orange, and red are extrapolating to above average heights, which is high pressure. Blue is extrapolating to below average heights, which is low pressure. So, blue for low, yellow, orange, and red for high. Right, okay, so this is the week one 500 millibar height only from the 28th of, uh, of August to the 4th of September. September. We can see that we've got an area of below average heights this week across much of northern and western Europe. A ridge of above average heights pulled out into the North Atlantic and a little bit of blocking uh, towards green as well. Jet streams dipping down a little bit like that. So uh, we're on the cool side of jet, we're close to trough low pressure. It looks like it's quite a cool and unsettled week to come. Gradually that ridge will extend in from the west as we go into next week. But overall, this is this does look like quite a quite a coolish and unsettled week coming up. Uh, week two takes us from the 4th through to the 11th of September. Still looking a bit unsettled, uh, really. So an area of below average heights centred over just the west of the country. So above average heights in the middle of the North Atlantic and also up to our north and northeast as well. It looks like we're on the cool side of a jet stream with a jet doing something. Uh, a little bit uh, like that. So, so yeah, it looks pretty unsettled and uh, rather on the cool side for week two as well, I would have thought. And we're into weeks three and four. Takes us from the 11th to the 5th of September. And uh, so we've got two ridges then. We're between two ridges. We've got a ridge out here, like in the Atlantic, close to Newfoundland, over towards the eastern seaboard of America. We've also got another ridge though, over Scandinavia and uh, back into like uh, western parts of Russia. There's a little trough of uh, low pressure around Scandinavia. And I think the jet is probably a little bit more unsettled than you might envisage uh, from the 500 mm of high dolly. So I think the jet is probably doing something a little bit like that. Although we are close to that area of high pressure over Scandinavia, I think it's probably a little bit too far east was to be having all that much impact on our weather. And I suspect that from here, we will probably fill up the gap with a trough of low pressure. It may be a bit warmer though uh, with that because we could, because we could be pulling up like winds from more of a southerly type direction. But I think it will still probably be quite unsettled. Probably quite unsettled there. More so than you might think given the 500 mm of high dolly. Remember, that's a two weekly anomaly though. So it might be a bit transitional. It could be something like week three is still unsettled. Week four goes towards higher pressure. Something like that could be going on. You just never quite know of a two weekly anomaly. Uh, right, so this is for tropical and mid latitude uh, view. And we can confirm temperature and rainfall anomalies. Uh, now, so uh, we've got British Isles top right hand corner of the chart as you are looking at it, along with Ireland as well. Of course, we've got Europe, central west parts of Europe uh, over there, of course. So, the coming week, my 500 bit of a height only for the coming week from the 28th of August, 4th of September, it's unsettled with below average heights across much of Western Europe, above average heights out of the middle of the Atlantic. And um, Jesse doing something a little bit like that. 
So I'm a cool cyber jet with close to chop of low pressure. Temperature anomalies, therefore, are forecast to be below average as we're ending August and beginning September. A cool of an average week coming up. And a little bit on the unsettled side, particularly so for Ireland, England, and Wales. A little bit less so for Scotland. But overall, quite cool and unsettled in the week ahead. We get through to week two, which takes us from the 4th through to the 11th of September. And we still have this area of below average heights over and to just the west of the country. Above average heights pulled out to the middle of the Atlantic. Jet streams coming through, something uh, a little bit like that. The temperature anomaly for week two is lifting up a little bit. It's close to average. So, uh, yeah, a bit of an improvement in the temperature anomaly there as we go from before to the 11th of September. Uh, and not as unsettled as you might have thought either. So, a little bit wet and average for northwest parts of the country, elsewhere near normal rainfall. I think that could be a little bit more unsettled, though, than, than that suggests. And then we go through to weeks three and four, it takes us from the 11th to 25th of September with a ridge here, and we don't really see Scandinavia, but there's a ridge up there as well, uh, and then probably a bit of a dip in the jet stream, doing something a little bit like that, maybe. So, uh, let's have a look at the temperature. No, it is lifting up. Temperatures are becoming a little bit warmer second half of September. We're going on to be slightly warmer than average uh, side with the temperature anomaly there. More of a subly influence, I think. Going wetter than average for the north and west of the country. So, Scotland and Northern Ireland going wetter than average. England and Wales perhaps seem to get being a little bit drier than average. I think this could be a relatively mixed September, though, with alternating air masses, and uh, sometimes dry and sometimes uh, rather wet. Uh, so, so probably a classic sort of September, really, uh, which is, of course, a very much transitional month, transitioning from summer to autumn during the month of September. So, so yeah, I think it could be a very, very classic and traditional type, uh, variable, transitional type September. Let's have a look at CFSV2, though, see how that compares. So, again, these are 500 millibars. Our heights are broken out into week periods. The first week period takes from 28th of August to the 3rd of September. The coming week has below average heights across the west of Europe, above average heights out in the middle of the Atlantic. The jet stream doing something a little bit like that. So uh, that could be quite cool and it could be uh, quite unsettled as well in uh, week one. So both models are in agreement about week one being quite cool and unsettled. Week two is the 4th through to the 10th of September. Above average heights and high pressure over and to the west of the country, got high pressure over and to the west of the country, probably quite settled with that, but we could be bringing in a quite a coolish sort of western northwesterly wind. So it should be a fair amount of dry weather. The Atlantic is blocked off. It won't be unsettled. I wouldn't have thought of there is a trough over Scandinavia. That's probably far enough away from us to to make to mean that we're relatively settled. But it could be a little bit on the cool side with the wind direction in from a north from a northwesterly direction. We'll confirm that in a moment with temperature anomaly. Uh, week three is going to be the 11th to the 17th of September. The high pressure then pulls out to the west, pulls out further to the west, becomes a mid-Atlantic ridge. The trough of low pressure from Scandinavia starts to pull back westwards as well. This could be a very cool week, actually. Winds in from the north, and uh, the trough of low pressure to our east and northeast could provide a uh, burst of rain, particularly for more northern and eastern parts of the country. So cool and unsettled there, maybe, around the middle part of September. And then we go through to uh, week four and it's all changed again this is the 18th to 24th of september maybe hinting at a bit of an indian summer now with an area of above average heights setting up over germany and uh, lower heights up towards greenland and iceland jet streams pushing northwards and that could start to pull up some appreciable levels of warmth from the south i mean bear in mind we are talking about second half of september so it's probably not going to get that hot but uh, but nevertheless that could get temperatures well into 20 celsius i would have thought and uh, yeah maybe be hints of a little bit of an Indian summer there. Although Indian summer is really more for October, actually, rather than uh, than September. But but anyway, that looks like we'll be going drier and warmer in week four. Temperature anomalies of surface B2 for week one, the 28th of August, 3rd of September, are significantly cooler than average. It is going to be a very cool week uh, coming up. Week two is also cooler than average as well. This is the high pressure is out to our west. This is before to the 10th of September. This one is also cooler than average as well. So quite a cool start September, if that's right. Week 3 is the 11th to the 17th of September. That one also hints at being average to slightly below average with the temperature anomaly. So pretty cool there up to the middle part of September. Then week 4 goes significantly warmer. This is the 18th to 24th of September. It goes warm and average, not just for the UK, but for many parts of Europe. Winds could well be turning into the south there. Could well be going into the south. 
Week 1 rainfall anomaly from the 28th of August, 3rd of September is near normal to a little bit dry of an average to the north and west. Uh, week 2 uh, rainfall anomaly from the 4th to 10th of September significantly drier than average. Week 3 rainfall anomaly from the 11th, 17th of September near normal. And then week 4 from the 18th to the 24th of September is close to average. We're losing the signal really uh, as we're going along. But it goes west and average around Spain and out to our west, driving average to our east. I think that could probably turn a little bit more unsettled in week four, actually. But at the same time, it could be warmer with winds swinging into the south. OK, so relatively mixed September coming up, if uh, these models are right. It's all very classic September fair, actually, I have to say. Alternating air masses, alternating uh, temperatures up and down with the temperature, up and down with high and low pressure, chopping and changing with one another. Very, very typical of the month of September, which, are, as I say, is a transitional month. We're transitioning from summer to autumn during the month of September. And so, yeah, it looks like we've got a, a very classic September setting up here with some warm, dry weather at times, but also some uh, unsettled and cooler interludes as well. Uh, right, that's just a snapshot, remember, it's just a snapshot of what these models are showing uh, this week. It could all look very different next week. So remember, any forecast beyond five to seven days comes with big health warnings and with large bucketfuls of salt. Uh, so that's Jamie Friday done. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day video update, including all of regular features. We've got the enter update coming up for you tonight. Uh, at the end of today's 10 to 14, 14 day video update, I'll tell you what's happening over the weekend. It's going to be a massive, massive, massive weekend of updates at Gals Rabbids. So all will be revealed about what's coming up this weekend uh, at the end of today's 10 to 14 day video update. But for Jamie Friday, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.